Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of NFL Playoff Predictions. Last time we did Week 9, and today we'll be doing Week 10. So for Week 9, I went 8 out of 6. Um, this was a very interesting and entertaining week of the NFL. Uh, first of all, we had the Texans win in London. We have the we had the Dolphins win their first ever game. Congrats to Dolphins fans. We had the Steelers barely win after Adam Van and Terry missed the game-winning field goal. My two upsets were right, guys. The Broncos did beat the Browns, even with Brandon Allen, and I'm super happy that the Ravens beat the Patriots, gave them the first loss. A lot of crazy games. So let's go to Week 10 here. Oh, man, that's how Tampa Bay game was insane. Same with Vikings, Chiefs. Probably the most entertaining week of football. I will say one of the best. So we start off here with a Thursday matchup between the Raiders and Chargers. Both of these teams won, and the Chargers beat the Packers, and... The Chargers actually look like themselves last year, but I think Oakland will win. I've been really impressed um, with the Raiders. Derek Carr's had a really nice season. Josh Jacobs looked really good, and I think they'll win this really big division game. We have another division game with the Ravens and Bengals. Um, division games are sometimes lopsided, but I think the Ravens will win. I think they're one of the best teams in the AFC. And plus, the Bengals have rookie quarterback Ryan Finley starting. AJ Green is back in with a rookie quarterback. I think... Baltimore wins. Browns Bills here. Um, Bills have one of the best defenses, and the Browns look super messy. Baker Mayfield is just turning over the ball. This team does not look disciplined. I think the Bills will win. Chiefs Titans. Even if Patrick um, Patrick Mahomes doesn't return, I still like Kansas City a lot. I think the Titans are an average team. I think they'll end up eight and eight, but I just don't think they have the fire power on both offense and defense to contain. Uh, the Chiefs. So I think that Chiefs will win. And then Colts Dolphins. Um, I think that the Colts are going to win. Even if Jacoby Brissett doesn't play, I think that the Colts have a good roster um, and stuff. So now we have two AFC versus NFC games. We have the MetLife Bowl. Um, for me, the Giants are a team that's better than the record. They're two and seven, but a lot of those losses have been close. I think they're a fine team. Um, I think they're way better than the Jets. I think that. Adam Gase is not a good head coach at all, and I think that they're really struggling because of him and a poor offensive line. I mean, that Giants D line is really good, and I think they're going to attack the Jets online, and I think the Giants are going to win the MetLife Bowl uh, because both of these teams share the same stadium. Rams, Steelers, I really don't know. Um, the Steelers' defense looks really good. TJ Watt and Bud Dupree were fantastic. Bud Dupree won um, AFC Defensive Player of the Year. I don't know about their offense. Can they keep up with L.A.? L.A. is coming off a bye week. But I think the Steelers will get a home win. It's really difficult to win there. And I think Pittsburgh wins and has a winning record this year. All right, we have a ton of NFC games, but I think all of them are entertaining. Here with an NFC North duel, I have the Lions. Um, I don't know what happened to the Bears' offense. I was really impressed with Matt Nagy last year, but this year... Him and Mitchell Trubisky have just not been executing the play, so I think the Lions win. Matthew Stafford having a really nice Pro Bowl season. Cardinals and Buccaneers. Cardinals face their former head coach, Bruce Arians, in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is a team that's very up and down. Um, they beat teams like the Rams. They almost beat Seattle. They're just a very up and down team. I think they will win this game. I think this will be a high-scoring affair. Um, I'm impressed with Kyle Murray in Arizona, but I just think the Buccaneers will make more plays at home, and that goes down to the coaching staff. They have a veteran head coach, Bruce Arians, and I trust him more than Cliff Kingsbury in Arizona. This is, I think, kind of the game of the week, the Panthers and the Packers. The Packers lost to the Chargers. They're kind of on a, they looked very messy, unorganized, going up against the Panthers, who Christian McCaffrey and crew looked really good against um, the Titans. I feel like that this game is going to be really close and come down within a field goal or a touchdown. And I think it's going to be Green Bay simply because of the home field. It's really difficult to play a Lambeau. I like the Panthers a lot, but I just like the Packers a bit more. Um, and it comes down to, yes, Christian McCaffrey's amazing, and I love him. Go Panthers. But for me, it's to the fact that Kyle Allen has looked good. He still has a bit missed up. While the Packers have a great running game with Aaron Jones and Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, one of the best in the NFL. So that's why I'm going with Green Bay. I think it'll be a great game. Saints Falcons. Um, Saints one of the best teams in the NFL. I think they will win. Could be high scoring. Could be fun to watch. Sunday night Vikings Cowboys. Ooh, this is good. The Chiefs. Uh, the Vikings defense didn't look that great. They let up a lot of points to uh, Damian Williams, the Chiefs running back, and I think a similar thing is going to happen to Ezekiel Elliott. 
But I think that for me, it seems like whenever Kirk Cousins, he gets hyped up when the media kind of talks bad about him. And I just think he's going to have a bounce back game and the Vikings are going to win in Dallas. Monday night here, this is another excellent one. Seahawks and Niners, where the Niners get their first loss against MVP Cowboy Russell Wilson. This is perfect prime time here. Really love the, uh, I love all three of these prime time games. I honestly feel like that the um, Niners are going to stay undefeated. I just think it'll be close, but I like what I saw from Jimmy Garoppolo, and I think they'll get a win. And those guys are my Week 10 predictions. I think we have a lot of great games here in the NFC, a lot of really interesting storylines, and this is kind of the make or break um, week for a lot of teams. A lot of teams could have losing records if they don't win, so I'm really interested to see how this week plays out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. This is my Tamar doing a love. Bye-bye.